Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello friends. Today we will discuss about the shock and blood transfusions. We will cover these lectures into two videos. In first video we will discuss about the shock. In second videos we will discuss about the hemorrhage and blood transfusions. Shock. What is shock? A systemic stretch of the low tissue perfusions which is inadequate for normal cellular respirations. Pathophysiology Cellular microvascular systematic systematic we will discuss cardiovascular respiratory renal and endocrine systems. Cellular layer when the t when the perfusion to the tissues decrease there is decrease in amount of oxygen supply to the tissues. If the oxygen supply is decreased, so the cell metabolism from aerobic to the anaerobic ch metabolism changes as the anaerobic respiration products are lactic acids which lead to metabolic alkalosis. As the glucose within the cell is exhausted, so there, uh, there is a cessation of anaerobic respiration metabolisms which lead to the failure of sodium potassium pump and there is intracellular lysozymes release ito digestive enzymes which result in cell lysis and the product of cell lysis uh, and potassium circulate in the blood microvascular as tissue ischemia progresses changes in the local milieu result in activations of immune coagulation systems Hypoxia and acidosis activate complement and a prime neutrophil, uh, resulting in generations of oxygen free radicals and cytokine release. These mechanisms or mechanism lead to injury of the capillary endothelial cells, thus, in return, further activate the immune and coagulation systems, damage endothelial losses, its integrity, and become leaky. Spaces between endothelial cells allow fluid to leak out and tissue edema ensure exaggerated cellular hypoxia. Systemic, uh, systematic cardiovascular systems when the preload and uh, afterload decreases, there is a compensatory uh, baroreceptor response which leads to increased sympathetic activity. And there is a large release of ketocholamine in the circulations which turn systematic vasoconstriction and tachycardia. Respi respiratory systems. Metabolic acidosis occurs and uh, which increase the sympathetic activity which lead to tachypnea and excretions of oxygen, uh, carbon dioxide increases. Uh, which compensate respiratory alkalosis. Renal when there is uh, when there is decreased kidney perfusion, so there is decrease in glomerular filtrations, so they lead to decreased urine output, which is stimulate our renin angiotensin in aldosterone systems, which lead to increased sodium and water reabsorption. Endocrine system. As there is tissue uh, less tissue perfusion to hypothalamus, there is release of vasopressin and from adrenal cortex, there is release of cortisol, which uh, both which lead to vasoconstriction and sodium water resorption and cortisol also stimulate uh, synthesize cells to the catecholamine. Classification of the shock: We have classified the shock into five classes. Cardiogenic shock, hypovolemic shock, distributive shock, endocrine shock, obstructive shock. Hypovolemic shock, as name suggests, there is decrease in volume of the blood or fluids. Reduce circulatory volume divided to hemorrhagic or non hemorrhagic shock. Cause of hemorrhagic may be internal or external, and uh, non hemorrhagic, there is a um, uh, dehydration, vomiting, diarrhea, and burn. Cardiogenic shock. Primary failures of the heart to pump blood to the tissue. Causes of cardiogenic shock is MI, cardiac dysarrhythmias, valvular heart disease, 
blunt myocardial injury, and cardiomyopathy. Obstructive shock reduction in preload because of mechanical obstruction of cardiac filling causes are cardiac tamponade, tension pneumothorax, massive pulmonary embolus, and air ambulance. Endocrine shock combination of hypovolemic, cardiogenic, and distributive shock lead to the endocrine shock. Distributive shock inadequacy of intracellular volumes lead to vascular dilations with hypotension, systemic vascular resistance, inadequate afterload which result in the abnormally cardiac output. Distributive shocks are seen in the state of anaphylaxis, high spinal injury and sepsis. On the basis of severity, shock is divided into compensated and decompensated shock. In compensated shocks, the conscious state of the patient is normal, blood pressure normal, pulse rate mild increase, respiratory rate normal, urine output also normal, there is lactic acidosis. Uh, we have divided decompensated into mild, moderate and severe. In mild, conscious state of the patient is like in mild anxiety, blood pressure normal, pulse rate increase, respiratory rate increase, urine output normal, lactic acidosis is greater than the compensated shock. Moderate, there is a drowsy in their consciousness of the patients, mild hypotension, there is pulse rate increase, there is respiratory rate also increase, urine output is reduced, lactic acidosis may occur. In severe, uh, in severe decompensated shock, Consciousness of the patient is like in comatose, there is severe hypotension, there is severe tachypnea, tachycardia, uh, labored respiratory lead, and uric, there is absence of urine output, uh, lactic acidosis, compensatory response reduced, flow to non-essential organ to preserve preload and flow to the lungs and brain. Decompensated further loss, body uh, body's compensatory mechanism, progressive renal, respiratory, and CVS dis uh, decompressions. Decompensations occur when there is 30 to 40 percent loss of the blood volume. Resuscitation. What is resuscitation? The action or the process of this receiving reviving someone from unconscious or appear death. Now, uh, for one, a conduct of resuscitations. Immediate resuscitations maneuver, maneuvers ensure patient airway, adequate oxygen and ventilations. Timing and nature of resuscitation depend on the type of the shock and the severity of insults. Do rapid clinical examination to provide clue to make an appropriate first determinations. Shock should be assumed hypovolemic until proven otherwise. If active bleeding or control the bleeding first, then and institute high volume fluids. Fluid therapy, first line therapy, IV access and administration of IV fluids, which fluids are superior colloid and crystalloids remain. Under determined oxygen carry capacity of fluid therapy is zero. If blood loss replaced, blood fluid therapy may require while awaiting for blood products. Hypotonic solution like drug strokes are poor volume expander not used in the shock. Unless in diabetes insipidus, free water loss, cirrhosis, no overload. Shock status. Shock status determined on the uh, CVS response. Responders show an improvement in the CVS status, which is sustained. Transient respondents show an improvement, but then revert to previous next ten, uh, next 10 to 20 minutes. Moderate on ongoing loss in travascular. Non-responders no improvement likely to have major ongoing loss. Intravascular volume is equal to persistent uncontrolled hemorrhage. Numbers uh, C vasopressor or nanotropic support. 
in distributive shock like sepsis and neurogenic vasopressor agents are given like phenylephrine and noradrenaline prefer vasodilation and no low systematic vascular resistance lead to hypotension despite high cardiac output cardiogenic shock required in to increase cardiac output on oxygen delivery inotropic agent like dopamine is used monitoring uh, additional modalities like ecg cvp pulse oximetry invasive bps are measures and minimum monitoring are bp cardiac output urine output and serum lactate is used thank you very much